Hi everyone, Nato here. I'm back here in Centerville, Iowa, in front of this big Freedom Stone. Um, it's for Iowa veterans of foreign wars, or one domestic war. Iowa was a state during the U.S. Civil War, so I'm back on the Centerville Square, um, which, uh, if you watch the videos, is the largest city square in the world. And uh, here is uh, a rock that, that features Bridget, Brid Brigadier General Francis Drake and the first uh, USS Iowa. Uh, there are two ships that I believe that have been in the USS Iowa. One is actually docked in uh, California, uh, where they play the Rose Bowl every year. Um, that's why Iowa always tries to get to that to the Rose Bowl, is that they want the, the USS Iowa battleship is there. It's also on a commercial with William Devane. He tries to get you to buy uh, gold and silver. So, yeah, that's cool. Anyway, Francis Drake, um, who was born in Drakesville in Davis County, which I've mentioned before, did move to Centerville, Iowa after the war. Um, and he was a, he became governor, but uh, the, one of the major streets here in Centerville, Drake Avenue, is named after him, obviously. And then the rumor has it that he gave the city two choices. They could either have a public library or they could have a school, a college. And the city decided they wanted a library. So that's what they got, and that library is sitting on Drake Avenue specifically. So uh, my only question is, have you ever been to a college that doesn't actually have a library that goes with it? Anyway, Drake University, which is now known, uh, was initially in Indiola, Iowa, and then has since moved to Des Moines, Iowa, and that's where the world-famous Drake Relays take place every summer uh, for track and field. But uh, I'm just enjoying being back in Centerville, Iowa, um, at the world-famous Centerville Square. And just thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about that. One, another thing, about, an interesting thing about Iowa is that per capita, Iowa contributed more soldiers to the U.S. Civil War than any, any other state, north or south, which I think is really, really cool. Another really interesting thing about Iowa history and American history is that there is one person who fought in the Revolutionary War that is born in, that is born buried in the state of Iowa. I'm going to be doing some more Iowa videos from the state capitol here very uh, shortly. I'm going to be working with the state governor, Kim Reynolds, on some stuff uh, tomorrow initially and then again next week. So that'll all be cool. Um, until next time, guys, peace out.